Well, the man known as the Halloween killer will not be released from a treatment facility, at least right now. Gerald Turner murdered nine year old Lisa French in Final Lock 45 years ago. Our Julia Fellow shares a new decision by the Court of Appeals that keeps him off the streets. The child killer had a mandatory release in February of last year after all of his time was served. But a law created after this murder could stop him from walking free. The Department of Justice wants to keep Gerald Turner committed to an institution as a sexually violent person. Turner assaulted, killed, then dumped nine-year-old Lisa Ann French's body in a farm field after she knocked on his door on Halloween night. The 1973 case sent shockwaves through the entire community and changed the hours that children can trick or treat to this day. Turner has been inside this secure treatment center near Madison for nearly a year because his prison sentence is up. Lawyers have been going back and forth over which county the petition would be heard in. An appeals court judge ruled on Monday the case can move forward and will be heard in Fond du Lac Court. French's little sister, who is now an adult, told us last year how this process has been so hard on their family. He's not a safe person. It's somebody that can think in that way and to do what he did. It's just scary. It's scary to have him be out. This process is still far from over. A judge will now need to rule if this case can move forward. Then a jury would ultimately decide his fate. And if Turner is committed, it would not be for life. After a certain amount of time, he would be eligible to petition for his own release again. Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.